Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn if you're new here and if you're returning, hey guys. I thought we'd just end the week with a little fun. I have been watching um, several planner babes and they have taught me so much just looking at their screens and looking at their stuff. I wanted to figure out how to do it as well. So this is my home screen, right? And I made this in Canva and it had I had to play with it. So let's just go over to Canva real quick. And I can show you how you can customize and center your home screen to your liking. And so you can just um, create a, a home screen from scratch or you can use any template. And so I chose phone wallpaper. And once I chose the phone wallpaper, it'll size it for you. And then you can either use the templates that they give you or you can type your words. And I wanted the word focus. And I had to play with this a few times to get it centered exactly where I wanted it before I uploaded it and it became my screensaver. Once I did that, I was able to then add my widgets, okay? And let's just shout out uh, Raw Elements because I saw how she used the Pinterest um, boards to create um, rotating pictures from Pinterest. So what I uh, um, went and found out how to do it, I think she showed us. Um, you go to Pinterest and you create whatever boards you want to create. I thought this was so neat. I love it. Every day I get a different inspiration. So I created two or three boards. Now I'm not an expert. Go over and watch Raw Elements video. She's an ex expert. So where are my boards at? I do it more on my phone. Let's just see. Are these the boards? Okay, these are the boards. So I did, I have technology, planning, rings, 2024, um, different boards that I created. What are the three boards? I did the 2024 and quotes. Okay, sorry. I was trying to figure it out. So when you go to my quotes and you can add to this, they're going to change every day. So every day I get a new quote, okay? And then 2024, I love these girls with inspiration. So I went and found and put them all inside of a board, okay? And so now every morning I wake up, there's a different quote and there's a different girl with a different motivation on it. And so the way that you do that is you go into your widgets, hit the plus sign and you just want to add a Pinterest went on uh, widget. Okay. So we're looking for Pinterest. If I went, there it is. So you hit the Pinterest, you pick the side and it must say board. Don't pick the one that say widget. What does that say? Widget widget. I thought it said board when I did it before. long press to customize this widget enter this widget and choose a board okay there it is it says and edit enter i can't read i'm sorry edit this widget and choose a board so you want to just do that add the widget and it'll put the widget on your home screen okay once you have the widget on your home screen now this is covering up my focus i'm going to delete it you want to edit the widget and then all you have to do is choose a board and all your boards from pinterest isn't this oh my god this is so cute so if i chose rings right and i wanted to change hourly or daily i think i have mine daily I think Raw Elements had hers daily too. And the girl, every day I'm going to come up with a different ring. Every day a different ring going to show up on that screen. I love it. Now, I don't know what time of day, maybe depending on when you did it, because this one didn't change in the morning. It changed like midday because I kind of watched it today. Uh, remove widget. And so um, you can pl then place your other um, widgets around it. Now, this is my reminders app. Now, I wanted that to be black. And so that's where I went over and saw that um, Lux Note had her apps black. And when, you, when mine were white. And so if you go into your settings and look at, um, I think it's display and brightness. You got light mode. See the difference? And then you got dark mode. So when I changed it to dark mode, that's when I realized that... Um, it would change it black. And I kind of like that. So thank you to Lux Note and Raw Elements for showing me how to customize my screen. So that's the first thing I wanted to go over is that I'm working on customizing all of my tablets. This is my 
um you can't see this but this is my ipad 11 inch pro i have been working off my big boy because she's new but today we're on 11 inch and i'm really trying to customize all of my tablets to my liking and so i do like having this um youtube idea list here but i thought i had put some other um reminder list what i like about that let's just add a widget let me show you real quick because i can put that on another page you can have all of your lists so you just want to grab your reminders and i just created lists that i really wasn't going to check off but i wanted to see so you could do like one for your home where's the reminders can i see guys i don't have my glasses on and I really think having a cute um, tablet really does make you happy. Reminders. Okay, so now you can choose whatever size. I kind of like that one. I think that's the largest one. So you want to add that one. And then you can choose whatever board that you want, right? So once you bring it here, I think you can um, edit the widget. And then you can choose whatever list. So I got my routines. And then you could have a list of your routines right there. That's my school rout routines, like update my agenda, post the agenda, things I want to do every day. If I didn't want that one, or I could put them all on there. I could go back into my family, my, my house cleaning. That might be one that I want to keep on my planner. And so I might want all of those on this page. And so then you add each one, but the list stays there so that you can see it. I don't, so when you click it, it actually allows you to check stuff off. And I didn't want to do that, but I guess I have to go in and do it on the screen. Y'all see how that works? And so you can add all your reminder on your screen so that you can have them. And that's just another way to stay organized. I really do like this. I really do love all of the things that I've been taught by different people or reminding, Hey, you can do this. Cause sometimes we know we just don't think about it all the time and you'll be looking for ideas and they're right there in your face. So that's one of the things that you can do to stay organized. I just want to add the one back. So we're going to find my, I don't know why is it so hard for me to, to find these, just be patient with me. Probably because it's in this. Oh, there it is. Um, and remember, I wanted the bigger one add, and then that one is my household. That's good. But I wanted my routines for school. There we go. So now I have my cleaning and then I could bring if you don't like them there. Don't forget you. You can move these around. So I'm going to add all my reminders to this page and then I'll be done with that. So that's going to be really neat. I think this is my to do list. So to do is another app that I use. It's always asking me to sign in. I'm not doing that today. And so I can set whatever one that I want it to be. So I can also make to do lists and I can share these with my teacher friends or anybody in my household if I want to. And then they can see the same list and be working from that same list as well. And then the last thing I thought we would do is somebody asked, not somebody, Tanya asked me, I think on, um, in the last comments, if I could show you or her my whole planner so um i did want to take the time to do that as well now this is my hello gorgeous volume three this is nowhere near where i wanted to be and i did want to take the time to just decorate the front because i'm just loving um planner girl meeks um stickers that she released for teachers i'm just feeling that so i think i want my cover to um represent those stickers so i might do some type of spread I can't really see um, where are my individual stickers hitting the wrong thing. This is she is teacher. I think it's just taking a minute to load. <laughs> so we're going to put my favorite one on the cover. The one I used on my spread earlier. Don't get sick of me because I'm telling you I'm enjoying the process. She is so cute to me. It was another one I liked too, but she was turned sideways. And then I love the desk. I'm just going to bring that back over. And I'm going to finish this offline because y'all saw me do... Well, maybe the classroom. I might be able to use this scene here and put her in there. Because we is vibing in this room right here. I never did scenes before. I don't think it's something that I'll get into. But every now and then, you know, you might want to... 
dibble and dabble and try new things. Bring her. And then we're going to arrange this and send it to the back. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, I know why, because I had I had used that to cut. There we go. But I don't like that she's above the couch. So we're going to have to... Is this... Where are we going to put her? Because I don't want her... I don't know if I can use that. Let me see. Now, I didn't delete the other thing. Don't worry, we can always arrange it and get it back she cute like that's cute like that let's be clear the girl is giving she is giving hello gorgeous plant okay i think we just gonna leave it like that i i think she giving everything she needs to give i'm trying to get her a whole i need that apple pencil in the picture and i don't want her hair cut off because she cute okay well we're gonna leave that that's my cover all right and then this is my front page with my word of the year, my focus, affirmation, and goals. And then I didn't change any of the stuff up here, but I did start using these, and I'm really excited about that. Even after I got off the um, video this morning, I actually started doing a using the template section to put those templates that I'm sending to the file. So now I don't have to go looking for them. The templates are actually in here. So this is my sermon notes template that I use a day and I took off all the lines in the middle. So that's why I needed to save it. And then this is my affirmation. So now as I create templates and I um, save them, I can bring them back into um, my files under templates. So I'll be doing that gotta always go back to the top okay so that's where we're at with that i'm not really doing anything with these pages yet i think she just has this as like an informational page in the front that you can use to house stuff that would be deleted later this is my table of contents i love that and then this is like a little timeline my aunt passed and so we were all together friends and family visiting a little picture of my granddaughter this is my co-teacher. We've been together seven years. Me, This is my daughter. She's my youngest. That's my baby. That's Brooke. And then this or these are my little girls I'm mentoring. Those are my little students. I had last year, they're going to be sophomores and a junior. So two of them will be sophomores, want to be a junior. And they always photobombing with my phone. <laughs> so um, that's that. And then this is something that I wrote. I started writing a book, guys, when I went through a custody battle with my kids. And it's just like, I wanted to write um, the story and really explain what I went through. I actually spoke on this as well when I did that ladies um, meeting the other month. And Patricia Lynn Kent was the name she was given at birth, but she often pondered, would God know that name on judgment day? Patricia's lack the discipline enslaved to her. Mm, Patricia's lack of discipline enslaved her to sin instead of serving righteousness. Yet his mercy stills reign on her. In climbing the ladder of Christianity, she finds he offers us not only eternal life but also an abundant life here on earth. So she desires his purpose for her life but is too scared of failure to take the leap of faith she speaks about. Can she face her inner self and find the purpose that God has for her life all while facing the obstacles that stop her and through it all raise three children in a society that money, power, and respect has become the American dream? Although Patricia lacks the full understanding of her Christian commitment, which spiritually binds her, God opened her eyes and turned it from darkness to light. From the power of Satan to the power of God, she discovers forgiveness of her sins. She learns when she fails to grow, she's not becoming all God wanted her to be. And ultimately, she learns that there's no dream without God. Through it all, she discovers true life is worshiping God. And guys, I was young. So that's just a testimony of how God can bring you through the most trying time of your life and you still be able to to be nice and kind and treat others the way you want to be treated although you've been treated horribly we're not even gonna get into that 
because <laughs> I literally lost my kids for three years. So the Lord is the head of my life. I'm a mother of three, Aaron's grandmother. I'm a graduate from Virginia State with an engineering degree and I teach algebra. I've been divorced for 20 plus years. Okay. And I have never remarried. I love technology and I'm part of the 50 plus club. And so these are kind of like the things about me, my birthday, where I'm from. How do I describe myself? I'm always saying I'm old. I listen to mostly R&B and gospel. Teaching is my jam. Um, really don't like being fat. <laughs> this is true right here. I'm good at helping others. I would like to improve on balancing my time management. My favorite food is chicken wings. Uh, my jo dream job is to be a famous YouTuber. My favorite holiday is Christmas because we get two weeks off. Really should be saying summertime, summer break. And when I'm free... The time I like to do was scrapbook or plan. I used to be a lot. I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. Um, I love. I'm happy when I'm people watching. Love to go to restaurants and stuff and sit by myself. And my favorite quote is, "Don't regret the past, learn from it." So that is all. Um, look at me. I graduated from college when my kids was in elementary school, and so that was an accomplishment. They watched me finish my last year of college. I dropped out senior year, and I went back, and I was determined to get my degree and make a better life for me and my children, and so it was a huge sacrifice. I actually had to um, live off of financial aid. I didn't ever do social services, but I had financial aid and tutoring to make it work, and that's what um, I did, and this was my daughter's graduation and my two sons i really do love that picture and so the lord is the head of my life and i just appreciate all that i've been through um this is just a little page these are birthdays this is my students writing little notes to me last the first semester of school last year so i really do like that i can keep that as a memory and then these are my yearly goals so as a two-page spread this is um, just like a little page that goes with my quarterly goals. Please excuse the noise, my family. And this is January. So this is a build as you go planner. And so you just, um, this is January. These are my January goals. This is the vision board. I stopped doing vision board, vision boards. This is my word of the year. This is just a weekly spread of what that would look like. I stopped doing weekly spreads. I, I really put them in my other planner, but not just to have them in here. Um, this was a check-in for my goals. At the beginning of the year, I was really determined to stick to my goals. This was another weekly. This was another weekly, but it was a two-week spread. I think I just decided to like finish out the month because it was getting to be overwhelming. And then these are my Bible um, studies for the month of January. So I try to do two books a month and then reading two books a month. And then I saw something on Pinterest where you could do vision boards for the book. And I fell in love with, you know, trying to make that second spread because remember, I want to print this print planner um, at the end. And then I do my reviews and my moments at the end. And so those... I thought I was going a little too fast, so I came back. This is my review, and then this is my moment. And then you go into February, and it's the same concept. You have your goals. You have your vision board. And I felt like the vision boards were doing the same thing, so I, st I eventually stopped doing them because it's just a different picture representing the same thing. So I'm not doing vision boards anymore unless something comes up that I want to do. But for the most part, I'm not. And these were my Bible verses for that. Not Bible verses, my Bible books that I read that month. And I read a little bit more because I realized I could get through more. Now I'm working on this because I was starting to read the book. Um, and it was The Friendship Has No Color. That's not the name of the book. It was um, the relationship between Eleanor Roosevelt and Mary Bethune. And so this was a book that I was reading. I forgot the name of the book. <laughs> but I'm going to get there. So anyway, I never finished the book, but I thought their relationship was really good. And so I started working on the spread for that. Um, then I was read um, another book called Seven Days in June. Absolutely loved. Um, Before I Let Go, another tearjerker. Absolutely loved. And then you have my review and my moments. And so you complete spreads as you as you feel like it. Or if you have some type of set schedule, you can do that as well. And this is my March calendar with my March goals, my vision board. These were the books that I read. 
um, and they're Bible books. And then I read my book review for Fast. So Fast um, was a total tearjerker. I mean, crying like a baby. Um, I absolutely loved it. So, um, and then this was a vision board that I did. And I just found pictures. They kind of went with the story. She lived in a pink house. They fell in love as kids. She had really ugly, dirty shoes. She was saving her money. He bought her shoes for her birthday. The story goes on. It just really was a beautiful love story. And I really did love that um, book. And then this was my review and my moments. So this is how my planner is evolving so far. Then we get into my birthday month. And then I tried, decided to do my goals a little different. That was the vision board. I'm still doing them. <laughs> Um, this was my Bible books of the month. And then these are the books that I read. This could be us. I'm going to tell you, I get all of my book reviews or book recommendations from book talk on TikTok. So there's something called book talk where you can start watching people that do book reviews. And it's absolutely, um, well, I'm going to just say they haven't let me down yet. <laughs> so all their, their, all their recommendations have been spot on. And so this was Bible study. So this is when I started joining the church. And so when I joined the church, I started going to Bible study. So now I have my um, books that I'm reading overview, but then I started doing Bible studies and sermon notes in here as well. And so this was another Bible study. This was a Sunday service. I'm just, you know, taking notes while the pastor's preaching or somebody's teaching us in the Bible study. Um, this was another Bible study. As you can see, April got really busy for me. And so I started just doing, that's the only thing I was creating was Bible study and Bible um, sermons. And then this was a currently for April because I felt like it was my birthday. So I said, okay, let me just mo take a moment to see what am I doing? And so this, I never even went back to, um, this was about me going to get my nails done. These were the books I'm reading. This was Aaron. I never even went back. And all I got to do is go back and type, I think. Or did I make that permanent? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to edit that. And then this was the um, the song I was listening to every day. And these were the book bags I bought myself. So I need to go back and rework that page. Bible study, Sunday service, Bible study. <laughs> And then these were my reviews and my moments. I took Aaron to see the um, Maggie Walker Museum, and we had a really good time. This was a T-shirt that I was looking for, at to get for school. And then me and Aaron went to, like, the Sky Zone. And then that was actually my birthday outfit. Um, and my birthday is, like, April 12th. So the coworkers took me out at work. So that was fun. I had a really good time. I mean, they sung Happy Birthday. I can't even tell you how shocked I was that those young people treated me so good. I really do appreciate it. And then that was May. Same concept, same theme. Everything is basically the same. I was asked to give this flip through, so I'm just trying to take you through and tell you my thought process. I decided in May I was reading more Bible books because I was trying to get through the um, New Testament. And so I'm working really hard to get through the whole Bible in um, one year. And so I read Tiny Habits this month, and I read a, long, a Love Song for Ricky Wilde. That took me a while to get into, but it really was a good book. I really enjoyed it. Now we have my May review where I started working on my planners, and I really wanted to get them out. And then this was my moments. My um, little cousin turned 16 and went to her party. Erin came to work with me on a Saturday. She's doing her little lessons as my students in the background are doing theirs. And then we get into June where we were getting out of school and starting to um, enjoy a little bit of having Fridays off. This was Bible study, Sunday service. I did a 15-day check-in because I wasn't feeling good. And I realized that my vitamin D deficiency was probably the cause and iron. So I started taking um, supplements and I do feel a lot better. This was the Sunday service. This was just an um, informational page that I didn't want to get rid of. Kind of like, it's almost like a collage of what I thought I was supposed to be writing. So I kept it. This was Sunday service. This was um, notes on how to become a YouTuber. I think somebody had asked me. So I did a little video and I just kept the notes. This is Sunday service. This is a book review. This was really good, Born a Crime. I really did enjoy that book as well. So I, my goals is not only to be successful on YouTube, 
but it's also to read more, lose weight, save money. It's like the whole realm of everything I want to be. And so I read The House of Eve. That was a good book. These were the books I read um, in the month of June. I did a lot. They were so little. They not that long. And then this is my review. And this is my moments. All right. And now we hit July. And so July started talking about ultimate list. So I really were working on my list. My monthly goals changed up the little um, page. Um, this was Sunday service. I started seeing Christians free stickers and I like fell in love with these stickers. So you're going to see them all throughout these next few pages. I started working on my action steps for all the things that I want to accomplish. Still reading them books of the Bible. I was really proud to get through all of these books. Um, this year I'm really staying focused. Then I decided I was trying to read series a week. That was overwhelming <laughs> trying to get all these books in, but I did get through one series and I really did enjoyed this um by kennedy ryan she did an awesome job with these three books and then i started working on a collage i still need one more image but that goes with the books and it's like they were different love stories but they were all connected um and then this was a gratitude spread and then i started doing gratitudes every sunday and i really do enjoy that that's going to become a habit or is a habit this was my top purchase because I've been wanting the iPad. So it's just the specs and to be reminded how much I love technology. This is working on my fonts. And then we get into like me planning out my planners and how I want them to be. This was another gratitude spread. Another gratitude spread. These were the two self-help books I was trying to get through. Um, and I did. I read these. They were good. For what they was worth i never finished my sunday spread and then i haven't done my july review but i did do my july moments i really did enjoy that and then these were like the pages that went with them i don't know why i like the collages i just haven't gotten rid of them they'll probably go later these are some pages that i was thinking about working on and lastly we're in august so guys this was a different type of video um, it was requested. This is my sermon notes and this is um, my spread from today. So I hope that you stayed with me this long. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the um, just um, comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. I thank all of you. I'm always grateful for you watching my videos. And until next time, guys, happy planning.